During the Passover meal, Jesus and his disciples reclined at the table. Jesus knew he would soon return to heaven. Jesus loved his disciples to the end, and he wanted to show them his love. Jesus got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and wrapped a towel around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began washing his disciples' feet. Usually a servant would wash a guest's feet when he entered a house. Jesus, the king of kings, was doing what a servant would do. <gasps> Peter did not want Jesus to wash his feet. You will never wash my feet, ever, Peter said. Jesus replied, if I don't wash you, you have no part with me. Peter said, Lord, not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus told Peter that one who is bathed only needs to wash his feet because he is already clean. Jesus wasn't talking about physical cleanliness. He was talking about someone who has been forgiven of his sins by repenting and trusting in Jesus. Then Jesus put on his robe again and reclined at the table. Jesus said, I assure you, one of you will turn against me. The disciples were very upset. They wanted to know who would turn against Jesus. John was sitting beside Jesus, so Peter motioned for him to ask who it was. Jesus said, he's the one I give the piece of bread to after I have dipped it. Then Jesus dipped the bread and gave it to Judas. Judas was the one who would betray Jesus. Jesus told Judas, what you're doing, do it quickly. Judas immediately left. The other disciples didn't understand why Judas left. They thought maybe Jesus had given Judas a special job to do for the Passover. After Judas left, Jesus told the disciples what was going to happen. Jesus said he was going away where the disciples could not follow him. The disciples didn't understand why Jesus was talking this way. Jesus said, if I go away and prepare a place for you, I will come back and receive you to myself so that you can be with me where I am. Jesus gave them a new command. Love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this than someone would lay down his life for his friends. Jesus said that after he died, rose again, and went to heaven, he would send the Holy Spirit to be with him forever. Then, Jesus prayed for his disciples. As Jesus celebrated the Passover with his disciples, he shared with him his last meal before his crucifixion. Jesus washed the disciples' feet, something that only the lowliest servant would do. Jesus showed love to his enemies when he washed Judas' feet as well. As sinners, we are all enemies of God, but God proved his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us.